Hello guys, it's me again, Sir Ernest, and today we're going to solve a problem involving magnetic dipole moment. The problem reads, find the magnetic dipole moment of a spinning spherical shell as in example 5.11 and show that for points R greater than R, the potential is that of a perfect dipole. Okay, so first things first, we need to know we, we recall, sorry, we, I mean, we, we recall that the, the magnetic dipole moment is equal to the dipole moment, the integral of every dipole moment that a, uh, a moving charge configuration produces. Okay? So, this is also equal to... Uh, integral of di a now, so you have to find first what di is and what the area element is so let's say this is your spherical shell okay and let's say this is spinning in this direction okay so this is your omega now if we're going to define let's say our a strip okay a ring element within the surface so let's say this element this ring element this ring element is very important okay so from here we know that the uh, if we are going to look at this line segment or this cross, cross section or line within this ring uh, this is a uh, infinitesimal lens uh, where the angular element d theta is this okay so we know from example 5.1 that the radius of this spherical shell is r so therefore the thickness of this strip is r d theta okay and with respect to this axis this is r sine theta so why do we need this because you have to know the area of this which is what we're going to use later okay so in other words this strip of wire produces an element current di within this area a okay so now what is now di di is the deeper uh, current with respect to the period because for one revolution have one period and this is uh, the current that is produced within that period is caused by this element charge within this strip of wire okay but what is dq dq is sigma times the element is called the element area prime where the element area prime is the uh, is the area of the strip of wire 
So this is can be comp which is can which can be computed by multiplying the thickness of the ring times the whole length of the ring, which is the circumference of the circuit. So this is equal to sigma times the length of the circle, which is your circumference, and so that's 2 pi times the radius of the circle, which is r sine theta, times the thickness, which is r d theta. So therefore, di, uh, sorry, the, the period on the other hand would just be 2 pi over omega. Also, the area element or the area of this circle is pi r sine theta squared. And this changes as your theta changes. Okay, so therefore the magnetic dipole moment which is the integral of di which is sigma times 2 pi r sine theta r d theta divided by 2 pi over omega times a which is pi times R sine theta squared, which can be simplified as, okay, we're going to simplify this, of course, um, two pi will cancel, omega can be brought upside, so this is now the integral of, and then pi the resulting pi here sigma here omega and then r times r times r squared is r to the fourth can be taken out of the integral this is pi sigma omega r to the fourth times integral of this is sine theta times sine squared theta so that's sine cube theta d theta and we evaluated the theta from 0 to pi so therefore the magnetic dipole moment will now be equal to so this can be evaluated later at your own time and the answer is 4 pi over 3 times sigma omega r to the fourth z. Okay, so this is your dipole moment. Because we know that we're going to look for the potential for far away, for points far away from the uh, from the sphere, so therefore we can use the multipole expansion. Okay. So because this is a for a multiple expansion for the magnetic vector potential A, so remember the uh, magnetic monopoles does not exist. So you go straight to the dipole term so the dipole term uh, based on the multipole expansion for the magnetic vector potential a is given by a deep equals mu naught over 4 pi times m cross r hat over r squared so this is equal to mu naught over 4 pi times 
like this. So that's 4 pi over 3 times sigma omega r to the 4th. Okay. Times sine theta over r squared. Because remember that m cross r hat would be this one. Okay, so you can check your notes how to calculate this one. Okay. Just a hint, z hat cross r hat is equal to p hat. So therefore, the dipole component or the dipole term for the magnetic vector potential is given by mu naught sigma omega r to the fourth divided by 3 sine theta over r squared which is exactly as the one showed or derived in equation in example 5.11 because this is exact that means the solution Do not have higher order terms, which is what we expect because which is what we are we are asked to show wherein the potential for this spherical spinning shell or spinning spherical shell resembles a perfect dipole. For points far away from the speed. Okay. I hope you learned from this. So if you have questions, please do uh, contact me for any questions and clarifications. So for now, I hope you learned something today. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.